thank you for waiting. As Galvor has been appearing recently in Pokemon Violet livestreams, I'll be taking over as Anchorman. It's now time to cover 2024 moments from January to July. But before we deal with video moments, here are guests my real life counterpart had to deal with. Two months before Garbor Boy turned 33 years old, Alison Kahoot passed away at age 36. On March 1st, the day after Leap Day, Akira Toriyama passed away at age 68. He was 34 days away from turning 69. On April 26, very late on her 62nd birthday, Patty Lackwick passed away peacefully at age 62. With deaths out of the way, here are some video highlights. Two months after All Saints Day, Garbo Boy has returned to make videos again. He's happy to be back after a two month hiatus. After impersonating Jason Barr's Tiger Side, Garbo Boy realized that he is better off doing the deep soft male voice for that character. His second 3D Pokemon Showdown video was a Porygon Sea Sweep against a Leaf Forsebus. A Leaf Forsebus used an Alolan variation of Red Steam from the Johto games. He realized that Porygon Sea was non binary because it was an artificially made Pokemon. For the sequel wars, God for Boy predicted that the stage clear for Mega Man 4 will be used in 5 and 6 as well. Remember him doing the single team challenge from round 2 of Jim Lear Castle of Pokemon Stadium? Well, he made a bonus video where he takes on Blue using his Pokemon Blue team with Slash Slash replacing Rhydon and Magneton replacing Pidgeot. As Godfrey Boy's starter was Charmander, it made sense that Blue had Blastoise as his fully evolved starter. Interestingly enough, it was a Snorlax sweep. made a free valve video where he takes on the CPU on the hardest difficulty level. For this challenge, he used the same team as his Jim Lear Castle Round 2 video, but they were all at level 50. His opponent used rental doppelgangers. He forced the CPU to use rentals and it all worked out. For Mega Man 6 in the sequel wars, he predicted that the intro and title song will be transposed to A minor just because this version is the 16-bit remaster. Since the stage clear for Mega Man in the Wily Wars remained the same for all stages, he used FL Studio to come up with his own Wily Wars style with the All Stages Clear song from the original 8-bit Mega Man.
Rodolfo Boy may not like a patriarch being overzealous, but he knew that the person is just looking out for the children and is protecting them from the force of reality. Comparing the two English dubs of the Dodge Me from Sarah Moon Super S, he loved the this media dub. What let Golf War Boy down of the Cobra dub is that Sarah Moon sounded too tomboyish and Tiger's Eye sounded too masculine. Those two voices were nothing like their Japanese original counterparts. That was why he chose the this media dub. It was also his first reaction video. On this year's February 9th podcast of the Biggs and Barr Show, Chris Biggs, Cassie Jamie, and Jason Barr impersonated Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. Bob Boy Boy knew that the Dr. Claw voice on the phone came from a man impersonating Dr. Claw. He chose Jason Barr for the best Dr. Claw impersonation of the three. Knowing that Jason Barr was a voice actor back in the 2000s to early 2010s, the result wasn't surprising. It was also his second reaction video. For fans, friends, and subscribers returning to Golfer Boy's YouTube channel, he made a welcome back video feeling happy to people who enjoy his YouTube content and YouTube. He enjoys what he does on YouTube. At the time he started YouTube, he had intended to upload a Double Dragon video where he takes on the final boss of Double Dragon on the NES. Although it came from a different speedrun, it was close enough to what he wanted to upload on July 5th, 2010. He wasn't able to upload it until February 21st, 2024. Gopher Boy's third reaction video is himself reacting to the scene where the Amazon Triu argue against each other. He considered the Kobe dub of Sailor Moon the worst English dub of Sailor Moon ever made. It was next to nothing like the original Japanese version. Unlike the Kobe dub, the Viz Media dub was accurately honest to the original Japanese version and that's why he chose that dub as the winner. After all these years of being on YouTube, he has finally released a YouTube video on Leap Day. What makes Leap Day unique is that it happens on years that are in integers of four in every way possible. It breaks calendar norms and that is the only time that the first two months end up the same six months later. All the other 303 years have the first two months end up the same the normal nine months, with March being very similar to February, except it has the normal 31 days.
Speaking about Leap Day, the Leap Day tournament barely made it. It featured Smash Brothers fighters that had first appeared on the Leap Year. He was happy with Duck Hunt Dog winning the Leap Day tournament. The Amiibo Tag Team Tourney was the only event tournament to get a second edition. The winners were Daisy and Me Sword Fight Turn. After four Veterans Day tournaments, the finalists were Ice Climbers, Peach, Dark Pit, and Daisy. Out of all the playable fighters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, the Ultimate Veterans Day winner was Princess Daisy. It was also his first video to be uploaded after Akira Toriyama passed away. While he took a break to celebrate his 33rd birthday on St. Patrick's Day, he has decided to upload his St. Patrick's Day videos the day after. One of them was a St. Patrick's Day greeting card, the other one was a Pokemon themed squad strike that included Team Gardevoir versus Team Delay. What he also uploaded on March 18th was himself doing the acapella tag to the instant answer question time from the Bigs and Bar Show. It was accurately honest to the original version. Before Easter break started, Bob Orr reminded fans that he was fine and was working on Easter videos throughout the Easter break. He worked on four Easter videos. All of them were uploaded on March 31st. Not only that, it featured Japanese themed video game music. The first Easter video was a humanized Gardevoir welcoming back Gardevoir Boy to YouTube. People loving Gardevoir Boy on YouTube would say that Gardevoir Boy's take on a humanized Gardevoir would arguably be the best humanized Gardevoir ever made. The second Easter video was a humanized Gardevoir doing an Easter greeting spot. He blessed people born on March 17, 1991 because this was their third and only time on a leap year they get to celebrate Easter on March 31st. Sadly, it will very likely be their final March 31st Easter. This was also his final video featuring a humanized god of law. To finish his 29th birthday special series, he wanted to do a spring themed Godful Boy Nostalgia Smash Fest featuring his favorite spring-like moments throughout each decade of his existence. 
To celebrate 2024 being the only leap year, this will happen on March 31st during the 21st century, he has organized a spring team nostalgic smash fest. All of the stages were adored with spring motifs echoing his Easter themed gaming moments throughout his 33 years of existence. He had intended to put Mii Swordfighter on the blue team. He changed his mind and put Mii Swordfighter on the green team because 2024 was the only time on the leap year he got to celebrate Easter two weeks after his birthday. This was his third Easter video. March 31st Leap Year Easter Special, Spring Themed Barbro Boy Nostalgia Smash Fest was going to be Barbro Boy's final Easter video. But because 2024 will be the only time on the Leap Year you will get to celebrate Easter on March 31st, he had decided to make a fourth Easter video. For his final March 31st Easter video, he did a 999 hit points Mario Brothers Battle Royale featuring Team Flower Power vs Team Mist Nostalgia Kid Fighters. Me, Sword Fighter, and Daisy made up Team Flower Power, while Young Link and Pichu formed Team Mist Nostalgia Kid Fighters. As this was his final Easter 2024 video, he took a break using Japanese themed video game music for a while. A week before Patty Lackwick passed away, he played Mario Party Superstars as Rosalina in Galaxy Link. He did this to do a Super Mario Galaxy themed Mario Party. That video featured contestants that were significant to Super Mario Galaxy. On the second quarter of June, he reacted to an old Feral video that originally came out shortly before his 20th birthday. He found Fisheye interesting because he is the most gender confused character in Sailor Moon history. In many countries, he was mistaken as a female character just because he dressed up like a girl and went after boys. As many countries did not like the idea of having children become gay, Fisheye was forced to become female. Many countries must have thought that Japan must have been crazy making Fisheye a male, but Japan was right all along. Japan meant well bringing the meaning of don't judge a book by its cover. Robo Boy knew that Fisher was not a tomboy from the very beginning. With video highlights out of the way, we will now talk about Bravo Boy's livestream moments. His very first 2024 livestream was a playthrough of Gargoyle's Quest on Game Boy. It was the second time you beat Gargoyle's Quest on Game Boy. The first time you beat Gargoyle's Quest on Game Boy was from the 3DS Virtual Console. Golfo Boy made the right choice holding off Pokemon Violet until the game had the Porygon fan. He chose to play the game as a Teemo Avatar because the character looked older and much better. His small team would be Blastoise, Espeon, Swampert, Porygon Z, Volcarona, and Gardevoir. He has rejected Garchomp in favor of Porygon Z because he doesn't like the thought of dragons pressurizing into a steel type. Don't worry, his Gobbler has mystical fire. For Memorial Day, he has decided to play all the Game Boy Launch titles available on Nintendo Switch Online. He started with Baseball and ended with Super Mario Land.
This is it for halfway to 2024 moments. We will cover the entire channel on November 30th before his December hiatus. Happy 14th anniversary to Golf of Boys YouTube channel. Until next time, this is Golf of Boys signing off. Thanks for watching.